Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to evaluate the limit if it exists. We have the limit as t approaches 0 of 1 over t times the square root of 1 plus t minus 1 over t. So what we have to do here is we have to subtract these fractions, turn them into one fraction, and then simplify it so that we don't have any t's in the denominators where we'd be dividing by 0 when we're plugging in 0 for t. So to do that, to combine these two fractions, they need to have the same denominator. So we have 1 over t and 1 over t times the square root of 1 plus t. So in order to have them get to the same denominator, what we have to do is we have to take 1 over t and multiply it by the square root of 1 plus t over the square root of 1 plus t. So to do that, we need to take t approaches 0, 1 over t times the square root of 1 plus t minus 1 times the square root of 1 over 1 plus t is just the square root of 1 plus t, and then we have the same denominator here. So we have 1 minus 1 times the square root of t, because we can now combine them, divided by the denominator t times the square root of 1 plus t. So now that they are one fraction, what we can do is rationalize the numerator. And so doing that, we have 1 minus the square root of 1 plus t, so we multiply this by 1 plus the square root of 1 plus t. Of course, we have to multiply the denominator by the same. So on top, we have 1 times 1. Sorry, I misread that there. 1 times 1 plus the square root of 1 plus t minus the square root of 1 plus t cancel. And we have minus the square root of 1 plus t squared is just 1 plus t over t times the square root of 1 plus t times 1 plus the square root of 1 plus t. the limit as t approaches 0. On the top, we have 1 minus 1 cancels, and negative the square root of t. And actually, this t just cancels out since it's the last thing left, and we're just left the negative 1 on top over the square root of 1 plus t times 1 plus the square root of 1 plus t. Now we can just plug in 0 into our fraction, and we have negative 1 over the square root of 1 plus 0 times 1 plus the square root of 1 plus 0. This is negative 1 over the square root of 1 times 1 plus the square root of 1. This is negative 1 over 1 times 1 plus 1. Negative 1 over 1 times 2 is negative 1 half. Therefore, the value of this limit is negative 1 half.